What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and configure a virtual display driver on Windows 10 or 11. This includes the ability to stream that virtual display to any device so you can match uh, the exact resolution and refresh rate wherever you're streaming to. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. All right, so onto the video itself. This is the virtual display driver that I've uh, created and modified with the help of my community. And there are two versions of the driver. There is one with HDR capabilities and that only works on the latest versions of Windows 11. Otherwise, you can use the non-HDR version, which supports everything the original does, just without HDR. So, let's go over how to install and configure this. I have Windows 11 on my machine, so I'm going to download the Windows 11 version here. Make sure you're choosing the uh, version that's appropriate for yours. And we're going to download the zip. Now that I have the zip file downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and open that up and you'll see IDD sample driver. We want to place this into the C drive of our computer. So we're just gonna click on this and right click and copy. We're gonna go to this PC, go to your C drive, and then we're just gonna paste it here. And you'll see IDD sample driver. Now, before we go on to install this, we actually want to configure it slightly. So if you have um, a certain number of displays you would like to open or create, or if you have specific um, resolutions or refresh rates you would like supported, you can edit this file. The options.txt file, and it has to be in your C drive when you install uh, the driver. Uh, so let's say that I want to uh, stream to my Steam Deck. So I want 1280 by 800 here and I want it at 60 hertz, but um, I know the Steam Deck can't handle it, but let's say I want it to stream at 120 hertz. I would simply adjust the refresh rate there and uh, hit save. If I wanted to duplicate that and make both work, I can say add a line and paste that there, change it back to 60, and now we have both uh, 60 and 120 hertz activated for that refresh rate. Um, again, and if you want two monitors, you can type two here, you can type five, whatever you want, um, and you'll create virtual monitors. Let's just leave that at one and hit save. Now that it's saved, we need to install the certificate. So all you do is don't worry about this one right here. You'll just right click on the install cert and run as administrator. Uh, adding the certificate isn't enough to actually add it to the appropriate authority. So running the install cert will ensure that it's added to the appropriate place. So let's just hit run and you'll see that um, it's added or completed successfully. So let's press any key to continue. And now we need to install the driver. So how do we do that? We just right click on the start menu, go to device manager. We're going to click on display adapters. And you'll see that uh, my graphics card is listed here and nothing else. We're going to go to action and go to add legacy hardware. Then you're going to go to next, install hardware that I manually select from a list. Uh, you're going to choose display adapters. And then you're going to choose have disk. And you're going to browse to your C drive and choose the IDD sample driver.inf and press open, press OK. And you'll see that the driver is Authenticode signed and then hit next. Once we hit next, it's going to actually add the device so your screen may flash. And then we're going to go ahead and hit finish. Now you'll see that IDD sample driver device with HDR is enabled. So how do we um, adjust it now? We can right click on the desktop and go to display settings. And you'll see that we now have a third display. This is our um, virtual display. Let's go ahead and extend to this. And now it's an additional screen on our computer. We can also duplicate, um, but I don't recommend doing that if you're streaming because you want the refresh rate and everything from the virtual display, not your real one. So then we can scroll down and we can set a resolution all the way up to, you can see like 8K here. Uh, so let's just choose something normal <laughs> or fairly normal well, let's let's use 3440 by 1440 that's fairly non-standard and we can see that it's right here we got a widescreen display and then you can see that use hdr is already on we can turn that on or off on windows 11 and whether you want uh hdr on or off 
Finally, to change the refresh rate, you're just going to scroll down to advanced display and you can change the refresh rate here. You can see we have 30 hertz, 60, 75, all the way up to 500 hertz if we wanted to. Let's change this to 165 and we're good to go. And finally, how do we uninstall the driver if we no longer want the display? Well, aside from going to our display settings and simply disabling or disconnecting the virtual display, which is the kind of normal way to turn it off, um, we can also uninstall it completely. So just go to your uh, device manager again, go to your display adapters, choose the IDD sample driver, right click and uninstall device. You can also remove the driver for the device by clicking that checkbox and just hit uninstall. And now it's gone. No more added driver and um, in device manager, we are back to two displays. So that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. Break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. That's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech.